to get an inside look at what makes Kyrie Irving one of the most dangerous ball handlers in the NBA, we brought our gear to the Cavs practice facility and wired up this three-time NBA All-Star with science. So what do you think separates you from everybody else? Being able to accelerate off my first step going to the basket or being able to pull back for a jump shot is what kind of makes my game a little bit unique. After testing a series of moves, data from our wireless motion tracking sensors reveals that he's able to accelerate to roughly 12 miles per hour in just two strides. And from a standstill at the three-point line, Kyrie can get to the rim in as little as 1.5 seconds. That's about 15% faster than the typical NBA point guard. But what really makes Kyrie so dangerous off the dribble is his innate understanding of a defender's mental chronometry or the ability to process time. Before a crossover, Kyrie typically exposes the ball for about a quarter of a second. Because it takes about two tenths of a second to react to visual stimuli, this ball movement gives the defender's brain just enough time to process the bait. And as his defender shifts roughly 60% of his weight onto one foot, Kyrie swings the ball behind his back at up to 21 miles per hour. That's about three times faster than the strike of a copperhead. This allows Kyrie in just 35 hundredths of a second to create about five feet of separation from his defender. And this is one reason why during the regular season, Kyrie actually averaged more points per game off of drives than Carmelo Anthony and Kevin Durant combined. Now, possibly the greatest impact Kyrie has on the Cavs offense is his ability to open the rest of the floor for his teammates. Compared to when he was off the court this season, when he was on the floor, the Cavs shot almost four percentage points higher in the paint and nearly eight percentage points higher on mid-range shots. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.